What's up guys? Welcome to my very first video on this channel, on this Watch What Happens Next channel. My name is Montreal, Montreal, however you like to pronounce it, I really don't care. Whatever floats your boat. Um, in today's video, we will be watching the movie Love, Simon. By me being a homosexual male in today's society, I think it's very imperative that I, my community, the LGBT community, um, has representation. I think this is a step forward. Um, I hope it's I hope it's as good as my um, expectations of it. But if not, that's okay too. But I'm just it's just good to see some type of representation of my community in mainstream um, media or cinema, whatever how they how people say it, whatever. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the movie. Let's get into the fact that Fox hasn't changed their opening since the 20th century and we are now in the 21st century. I'm gonna need them to, to get that together as soon as possible. Like for real. <laughs> I'm just like you. For the most part, my life is totally normal. My dad was the annoyingly handsome quarterback who married the hot valedictorian. And no, they didn't peak in high school. I've always like wanted my parents to per, um, to gift me a car. I thought that that was gonna happen like in my teenage years, like movies, TV shows, all like basically prepared me to get me a, to get a car um, with the boat on it. And I was sadly let down, which was Heartbreaking. I have a sister I actually because I was looking forward to that car with the rainbow on top of it. And last year, in 200 episodes so thank you, shop to go, movie, she decided she wanted to be a chef, which means we're pretty much all her test subjects now. Might I also add that his family is like a token family. Like, they look so perfect. Like, you could just put them in magazines and they would look like... Like, they would look like they just fit there. Like, they're just a beautiful family. Like, everybody's just, like, genetically beautiful. Two of them I've known since... Oh, that's the girl from, um, 13 Reasons Why. At least kindergarten. What's her name? Hannah Baker, I think. Just met a few months ago, but and Storm, like the girl that everybody hate that play Storm. We do everything friends do. We drink Hopefully she does a better. Matter of fact, she was in the Leah biopic too. Hopefully she does better in this one than she did in either of the any of those other ones. I'm jealous that his friends would participate like that Except at his games. I have one huge ass secret. Hey, morning. Oh. Hey! Sorry, I didn't realize you were masturbating. Yeah, very funny. Your sister's downstairs making some la di da pancake thing she saw on Top Chef, so we should we should probably go eat that. Great, I'll be down in just a second. Okay. Right after you're finished searching the internet for lingerie photos of Gigi Hadid. <laughs> Sadid. Right. I didn't realize she was your girlfriend. All right, finish up here. Pause. I think that that's like... It's very uncomfortable as a homosexual to be like, when your parents or somebody close to you be like, oh, do you wear for me? It was very uncomfortable when they be like, oh, well, do you like this girl or is she cute? Or like, like kind of like putting you off on a female and it's kind of like, that's not what I want. That's not what I like. That's not who I am. So it's kind of like, it's very uncomfortable. It's very psychologically isolating in a sense because it's like I want to be myself because I want to scream out like I don't like females I like I like men but you can't because you're afraid of the the repercussions that may come with it so it's kind of like huh yeah I have to fake liking it liking it or fake go along with it um just for time's sake or whatever or just for you know whatever whatever and I think that they exemplified it pretty good in here because it's very uncomfortable. Like you have, like within the scene, you see the uncomfortableness that he is um, feeling, and that I felt that so many times as being a homosexual male. Um, it's just something I want to point out. Like, yeah. Hey, morning. It's Simon. I live. I live right here. I like your your boots. That was the worst Hi. shooting of a shot I've ever seen. Cause you're screaming across the street to someone and then you go compliment his boot what simon <laughs> if it isn't my fellow thespians 
Hey, with hey, a green shirt hey, with a darker green sweater on me. Hi. You know, excited to rehearse with you later. He already looks annoying hey, and, uh, so fun fact, and like he makes people uncomfortable. He's making me uncomfortable. And I am a camera. So I'm assuming he's gonna be the annoying one in this movie because. Goodbye to Berlin was actually based off of Christopher Isherwood's. Why are you talking? Why are you talking? That's awesome. I have homeroom. All right. I think she found that interesting. She did not. I promise you. Bye, big boy. She did not. Siraj. Now. You know what? We didn't see last week's episode of The Bachelor. How did that guy even become The Bachelor? Why? Well, he's clearly gay. He's not really. He's handsome. That date where he took gay men can be handsome. Perfume place. Oh, dad. He is I bet so you differ. That gay men, gay. a lot of gay so men, are very attractive. One man pride parade. Are you kidding me? I gotta show you something. Okay. This is your 20th anniversary, so I'm gonna be super real with you right now. This looks like a fourth grader made it, and like not even the smartest fourth grader in the class, just like a deeply average fourth grader. Wait, what are you talking about? This is amazing. What? I got fade-ins. I got dissolves. This yeah. is beautiful. Get up for a second. I'll help you. Trust me. We can make this good. We just got to put in, you know, some home video, maybe put in some better music. Better music? This was huge when we were young. Yeah. So was Bill Cosby. We're not going to say that. Hey. Have you seen the new post? No, what? Oh, my God. No, I'm never getting back in that pool again. Wait, no, about the closet gay kid at school. But why is that even a topic of discussion? What? Like, why do you care yeah, about the closet gay kid? Like, I'm confused. Like, is it why is it like such a big deal? Who do you think it is? <sighs> I bet it's that sophomore with the rimless glasses. I get a vibe. Actually, hmm. maybe it's Parker O'Malley. O'Malley, like uh, oh god! You remember Jeez, go. you got, if you guys watched Grey's Anatomy, George O'Malley. Can I call you back? Good brother feels O'Malley. Sometimes I feel like I'm stuck on a Ferris wheel. One minute I'm on top of the world, and the next I'm at rock bottom. Over and over, all day long, because a lot of my life is great, but nobody knows I'm gay. Blue. Wait, so how did he post? Wait, so does he run the blog or what? Because if he submitted it on the blog or whoever wrote the blog wrote it about him, then how is his email attached to it? Am I, am I losing something? Because it's not making any sense. Maybe it's just for the plot of the movie. I don't know, because it doesn't it, it doesn't make any sense to me. If it makes any sense to you, comment down below and explain it to me, because I'm kind of confused, because I don't understand. And, oh. Like I said, I'm just like you. I have a totally, perfectly normal life. Except I have one huge ass secret. Jock. Jock. Jacquez. Jacquez. Even. But not Jock. That is not Jock. Does anyone want it? Yes, Simon. Can, Can I go, go to the bathroom? bathroom? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Sure. <laughs> yes. I see it all the time. I'm like, girl, I'm over this class. Can I go to the bathroom? Why didn't he just do that in class? Like, you just checked it under your... You're right, where he going now? He is so Simon. cute. Yeah. Can I get some fries? Yeah, she can get my yeah. fries. Yeah. You have the, anything you want. I'm telling you, the Oakwood Tigers scored so many. As for how I knew I was gay, it was a bunch of little things. Like this one recurring dream I kept having about Daniel Radcliffe. You know what's me with Oh, I used to love me some El And then proceeded to have every night for a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey Martin. Hey, um, I used the uh, computer in the library right after you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to Gmail and it pulled up your account and I uh, read some of your emails. I know I probably shouldn't have, but they were like right there. <laughs> so you'll be interested to know my brother's gay. 
When I tell you I would have punched him so hard in his face, no. like, you're Why trying me. You know? What is your motive? Worry, like, what is your motive? Show anyone what? Exactly. I would have mushed him so fucking hard. Or something? I'm not violent. No, no, no. But, <laughs> I, I would have screenshot them. Screenshot it by email. Grab his phone. Delete the messages. You're going to leak my emails? You're going to post them on Creek Secrets? I, I just think that we're in a position here where we can help each other out is all. Somebody did that shit to me, Somebody and it was very it was very disrespectful and very invasive, invasive to my privacy. And it was a grown-ass individual who did it also. I really don't agree with stuff like that. And, like, stuff like that really hurts no, me because it's like, about, like I said once before, pepper, let the person pepper. tell their story. Yeah, it's not your story to tell. A little Mexican flair, huh? Mm. Very creative. Hey, Abby, whenever you need a refill on your drink, can you stop talking? Stop talking. Stop talking. But don't worry. Stop. Special occasion. Chew that. Cheers. Bram is so adorable. I like Bram. Anyway. I've been thinking about why I haven't come out yet. Maybe it's because it doesn't seem fair that only gay people have to come out. Why is straight the default? I have something I need to tell you. Mom, there's something I have to tell you. Can, can we talk? Yeah. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm sorry, Mom. Do you see how ridiculous this is? I like girls. This is how ridiculous it is to come out gay. Like men. You get that from your dad, is that? Abby? Yeah. Do you want to tell her he's gay? I'm gay. Oh. You can't tell anyone, though. Nobody really knows, and I don't really want people to find out. I won't. I promise. Okay. You surprised? No. So you knew? No. But you're not surprised. Do you want me to be surprised? I don't know. Okay. Well, I love you. Hug him, please. So. Love you too. Hey, I would have taken you for a homecoming guy. Oh, just here for the coffee. Oh, of course, yeah, it's all about the cappuccinos and camaraderie for this guy. <clears throat> I'm glad you're here. You are? Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to ask you something. Um, I was going to ask you the other day, and then I was like, to chicken shit. <laughs> What's Abby's deal? Abigail, Catherine, Suso. Will you go out with me? I don't feel that way about you. You, you don't? No. I, it's very cute. It's a, the thought that counts. I don't know. Sorry. Hey. Have you seen it? Seen what? Creek Secrets. You need to look at your computer right away. Dear fellow Creekwood students, Simon Spear has a secret male pen pal because he's gay. Sincerely, Anonymous. Yeah, this is like... Like the Sorry. worst is nightmare you can go through. Sai, have you read it? Uh, I can't talk right now. No, Sai, wait! I gotta go. Sai. Hey guys. Hey Simon, we need to talk. So Abby and I hung out on New Year's Eve and uh, you see now we're together. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah, it is. But then we got to talking about why it took so long. Why did you tell Nick that I have a boyfriend in college named Jonathan? Why'd you make that up? Look, Martin. Their anger is like, like, it's justified. But at the same time, they have to also think about how he was being affected. It's just like. It's just like he was being blackmailed. So he was his arms being twisted. And it's like for you guys to really like come at him 
on some funny stuff or some angry stuff and not really coming him on some like, okay, I understand why you did it in a sense, kind of, sort of. It's like bullshit. You're going to go on that date with Leah? You're going to keep me away from Abby? So, wait, all of that was just to pawn me off on Martin? I'm not a piece of meat, Simon. You know how hard it was for me to start over. I trusted you. Oh, Simon, hey, can we talk? I don't have anything to say. No, no, no I, please, please. I, I just wanted to say that I was sorry, okay? I, I, I didn't know or think that people still did shit like that. And I, I got in a lot of shit for homecoming. And I wanted everyone to focus on something else, you know? I, I just didn't think it was going to be a big thing. It, I don't I, care if you didn't think that my coming out was going to be a big thing, Martin. Look, you don't get to decide that. I'm supposed to be the one that decides when and where and how and who knows and how I get to say it that's supposed to be my thing. And you took that away from me. So look, can you just get the fuck away from me? Being gay is, is your thing. There are parts of it you have to go through alone. I hate that. As soon as you came out, you said, Mom, I'm still me. I need you to hear this. You are still you, Simon. You are still the same son who I love to tease and who your father depends on for just about everything. And you're the same brother who always compliments his sister on her food, even when it sucks. <laughs> But you get to exhale now, Simon. You get to be more you than you have been in... in a very long time. You deserve everything you want. Hey, Sai. Yeah? In case the message got lost somewhere, I just... I just want you to know that I love you. And I'm really proud of you. I wouldn't change anything about you. I'm trying so hard. Fuck. Shit, man. I'm really uh, trying. Yeah, stop crying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, God. Come here. It's beautiful that his, that his family is so loving and caring because a lot of people within the community don't experience that. A lot of people in the community are oftentimes kicked out, ostracized, and sometimes even killed because they are homosexual or trans. So it's beautiful to see this depiction in the movie because it's not always this version. It's movie man. My first video on this channel and I'm crying. Ridiculous. Never get me again. The next video gonna be full of laughs and jokes and stuff. But why did I, I don't know why I even chose this. I didn't think it was gonna go this way. Hey, Simon. Hey. Do you want to go to the carnival with us tonight? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. 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 Get in here, Leo. Uh, uh, the love. Thank you. I'm also glad that Nick doesn't care. Like, Nick is also there to support him. It's always weird in high school to have, like, straight friends because they always think that they're going to be, people want to think they're gay, but you know, I'm a gay person. It's just, it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard to be gay. It really is. You got this, buddy. Proud of you. Woo! No, I know he's gonna come. I hope he's come. Wait, wait. Can I sit there? I was kind of waiting for somebody. It's real. Yeah, I know. It was real. It's real. Dude, this is like me. It's real. It's you. Hey. Have you seen Creek Secrets? There are six new confessions all signed. Listen to this. My parents didn't come and see me in Cabaret. They hate that I want to be an actor. I don't know if they'll ever be proud of me. Taylor Metternich. Wow. When well, you do great career. things, you inspire people. Be brave. Be yourself. And love who you are. Are they picking him up too? Morning. It's morning. Damn, Lee, it's the 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 fifth wheel. Yeah. All right, it's too beautiful a day, so I think I'm gonna actually take us on a little adventure. Yeah. Yes! That's exactly what I need. Yeah. Well, that was Love, Simon, you guys. Um, if you guys stayed to the end, um, thank you so much for watching it with me. Um, I'm going to leave this on, on, a, on a positive note, a happy note. I'm just going to say this. Um, for those of you who are struggling to be yourself, I love you. You are loved by me. You are loved by many unknowingly around you. You are brave. You are beautiful. You are strong. I want you to take this movie as an inspiration to be yourself and do it in your own timing. Don't feel forced to come out if you if you aren't ready. But if you are, I and so many other people in the community are here to lift you up and to hold your hand through this journey. I pray and I hope that this message is, is, is conveyed well, and I hope that you are receiving it in the way that I am um, that I'm trying to um, say it. I send you guys positivity and love, and I just I just want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be to be themselves because you are unique. You are unique, and you, your uniqueness is needed in today. So once again, I love you and be great, be brave, be bold, but also be you. Be yourself, be your own internal self. Thank you guys for watching this video once again. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please like it.
please subscribe. Please comment down below. Um, I know it's my first video and I've cried and I, I'm, <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself for crying. I'm a cry baby, but I don't like crying on camera and I'm gonna hate to edit this, but more videos coming. Hope it'll be more like. Uh, like more joyful videos, laughing. We're gonna we'll laugh a little bit. We'll cry a little bit, probably later on in the future. But we'll get into some more videos. Let me know in the comment down in the comment section down below what um, movies you would like for me to watch next. Um, yeah, I love you guys once again. Peace, love, and positivity. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to watch what happens next channel to see more of me. Um, and on that note, I'm up out of here. Bye.